good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Based on the time you are assessing this material, welcome to week two of our introduction to computer. If you are accessing this video on YouTube, this is a course and taught on coolchats.com. So you can visit coolchat.com to see the course content so that whilst you are watching the video, you can be following the content as well. So if you're on coolchat.com, you go to courses, information technology, then you can have a list of machine technique courses. So we are introduction period. And this is week two. So I've already introduced my segment one. But if today is your first time watching my video, then my name is Godwin Ashon. And I'm the one for this. Now if you want to contact me, you have to log in. Or if you don't have an account, you have to create an account. Then once you log in and you are on this course page, there will be chat with instructor over here. So when you click on it, the chat box will uh, you be directed to the chat box and you can send me a message. But remember, you need to sign in. So if you don't have an account, you need to uh, create an account. Once you log in, and you come to the home page here, you can just click on chat from this part and then the chat box will be shown that you can send a message you wish to send me. So last week, what did we learn? So we learned about how you can boot your computer, how you can shut down your computer, how you can restart or put a computer to sleep. We talk about some of the input devices. We talk about output devices. We talk about some storage devices and we also talk about the desktop, how you can change the background color and the color of also of the desktop as well. Today, what are we going to look at? We're talking about farm management. So we'll talk about how you can create a folder, how you can delete a folder, how you can copy a folder, how you can cut a folder. How you can copy a file to a folder and how you can cut a file to a folder and now you can open file so let's say you want to play a music or watch a video how you can do that then now you can read in the file then now you can delete a file then once you delete it maybe later you change your mind you need a file again so how you can restore that file now if you are 100 percent sure that the files in the recycle bin, you don't need them. So how you can empty the recycle bin. And now you can transfer folder or file to a storage to a storage device. So here we look at how you can transfer them to a pen drive. Or a drive and flash drive. Okay, so now let's get started by clicking on the study app. So a folder, as you know, in the plain English. Normally, we put things less. So, if you have a folder for books or files, normally it means we'll be putting the files inside. Okay, so it's the same thing with the computer. So, we also have folders where we create them so that we know the particular uh, files that we will be putting inside. So, someone may have a folder called movies. So, in that folder, movies will be stored, movie files will be place in that folder. Then someone may also have a, a folder called photos. So in that folder you will be saving photos in, inside it. Someone may also have a folder called personal. So in that folder you will be saving personal things inside. You will be putting personal things inside. Okay. So when your computer, you have your operating system on it, there are some default folders that the computer came along with like the desktop. So in, if you go to this PC, you will see desktop. You will see desktop on it. And we also have uh, other like the C drive and other folders as well. So but since you'll be using a computer, you also need to create your own folders. 
before you'll be putting your files inside. So there's a need for you to learn how to create a folder. So in this session, it says right click on the desktop. So if you are creating a folder on the desktop, so so the that's the simple the idea is that wherever you create the folder, you need to go to that uh, location where you want to create your folder. So assuming you want to create your folder on desktop, then it means you need to go to desktop. Assuming you want to create a folder in another folder, you need to go to that folder and create the folder over there. Okay. So creating a folder on the desktop means we have to go to the desktop. Now, when you go to the desktop, you click on any, you right click on any space on the desktop, then you select new, then you choose folder. So once you then select new and you choose a folder, the default uh, folder will be created with a default name, new folder. So you need to change this new factors into the desired uh, folder name that you want to give. So let's go to desktop. So like we studied in, I think last week or so, if you want to access any of the uh, uh, the folders or any, con any part of the computer, you need to use a file explorer. So if you haven't opened a folder yet, you just click on this one. But once you open a folder, then you, if you need a new one, you have to right click on it. So you have to right click on the file. So you have to right click on the file explorer, which we talked about last week. It's just like if you look at the taskbar at the bottom of your desktop uh, screen, on your screen at the bottom, the, all the, the icons we have are those buttons. That uh, column is what we call the taskbar or the two uh, bar. So, however, so anytime I refer to taskbar or two bar, I'm talking about the bottom icons, the things we have there. So if you look at the folder icon, now when you, you click on the folder icon, and the folder, a file explorer will be open, just something like this. So here, in the file explorer, it may go to, it may show this page where you have your, uh, your drives, which contains your other folders. So we have folders and we have our drives. So here we have our desktop folder, we have our documents folder, we have the downloads folder, we have the music, we have the pictures, we have the videos and the rest. So anywhere you want to create your folder, you can go there, then you can create your folder. Then in these drives too, if you want to create a folder in any of these drives, then you can click on the drives. So all the, uh, the main uh, folders, and the drives are shown on this PC. So this PC is at the left hand side of the file explorer. So this box is what we call the file explorer. And you can open it in the taskbar, the folder icon. Now if you've opened the file explorer once, to open new one, you need to right click on the uh, file folder icon. Then when you right click it, you, you choose file explorer. So when you click over here, the new file explorer will be open. So as many as you want, you just have to right click it. You right click, then you choose, when you right click, then you choose file explorer, then a new uh, file explorer will be open. Okay. So like I've explained, so when you open a new file explorer, this is what you have. You have the main folders and you have the drives. So if you want to create a folder or open a folder, in any of the drives, so just double click on it. Double clicking means clicking on it twice, like we said it last week. Okay, so now in the, this session, it says we should create a folder on desktop. So we are going to desktop. So we are going to desktop. Okay, so last week we talked about the desktop. So this is a desktop. So if I want to create a folder here, I'll just right click on any space 
on my desktop so I can have something like I can right click here then I can go to new then folder okay so when you click on new then folder a folder will be created for you so this is our folder with a new folder as a name you can see that it has been highlighted so you just click on the delete uh, key last week we talked about the keyboards so in the keyboard we have the delete the delete you just click on the delete then that, that default name will be deleted so you can put in your own uh, name so let's say we are on week two so i will name it week two okay so this is my week two uh folder and to open the folder you just double click on the folder so you just uh, click on the folder two times so one two so that will, that will uh, open the folder so this is a folder content okay then we also have other folders here if you want to navigate to those folders then you can just click on wherever you want to go but this is the, the inside of the folder you don't have anything inside so it is empty okay now in the next slide it says creating a folder in another folder so now week one week two in our week two folder that we've created we also create another folder inside like i have explained earlier on the concept is that before you create a folder you have to know where you are creating a folder so you go there then you create the folder so when we wanted to create a folder on desktop we went to desktop if you want to create a folder and another folder we have to go to where the folder is and we right click on in you right click in the space in that folder then we select new then folder then we change the name of the folder so in the fo folder we've created in week two this is the folder so we already know it's on desktop so if you go to desktop then there is a folder we will click it so inside anywhere in this folder not if, if there are folders here you don't have to click click on those folders you look at empty space in the folder then you right click on that empty space then you see your new then you choose folder okay so you give it a name so maybe you can name it one you can create as many as you want so you create more one in the same step you right click new then folder then maybe I want to put movies here, so I can call this one movies. Okay, then I can create another folder and call it maybe introduction to computer or intro intro to computer. Okay, so you can create as many as you want. If you want to uh, have another folder. In the, in the folder when you open the folder by double clicking on it you can create another folder the same step you right click then you new then folder then you change the default name to maybe introduction to computer maybe you want to make your personal notes so the files you want to put them in with the number of weeks so you can have with one then you have another Folder maybe with two, with two, then etc. So, based on what you want and the folders you need to create. So, the idea is that we create folders to put files inside, or we can put another folder in another folder. Okay, so based on your need and where you want to save your, your files, then, then the folders you need to create. Now, when you go to my this PC, it shows list of uh, drives you have. Normally, it's not advisable to put uh, things, personal things, on desktop because desktop is under C drive. So, if you are doing install, uh, formatting of your machine, most of uh, 
when you are you do informatic the c drive is empty so if you have your personal things there they, they will all be gone and remember desktop is also in the c drive okay so it's advisable not to put your personal stuff on the desktop so you can put them in any of the of the other drives okay so to create a folder in the other drives you need to double click on that folder let's say for example if i want to create a, a folder here i need to double click on it then inside it i can just create my folder so you just uh, since this folder has many files i don't have to click on those files i have to look for an empty space in the folder so somewhere here okay an empty space in the folder somewhere here i can right click then view then folder and i can call it intro to computer intro okay so that's it for how to create a folder so i believe the concept is clear okay so in your taskbar or toolbar you just click on this uh, folder icon so in the folder icon if you haven't opened any folder yet when you click here the, the file explorer will open now if uh, the, you haven't opened any uh, uh, folder yet then as many as you click here the same number of folders will be open but once a folder opens the next time you click it will not open a folder it will show the list of folders you have so to open a new folder you need to right click on that then you, you, you choose file explorer then it will open the file explorer for you okay So I've explained yes. So if a folder is already open, so if you open the folder here, you need to right click on it and choose File Explorer. But if a folder has not been open, you just click on it and a new folder will open. And deleting a folder. So to delete a folder, you need to select the folder by placing the mouse cursor on it. Now when you select it, you can right click it and delete. Or or you can use the delete icon so any one you want so for the folder i created over here this folder if i want to delete it i can right click it then i choose delete then it's gone then you can also when you select it you can also press the delete um, key then it will also be deleted so either you use the delete key after selecting the, the folder or you right click and you choose delete so you right click you choose delete then it should be deleted the folder will be deleted now remember that if you are deleting a folder everything in that folder will also be deleted because the entire folder will be deleted and once it is it is deleted it goes into the recycle bin so the bin on the desktop anything you delete will be, will be uh, uh, placed over there now copying a folder now to copy a folder it says select the folder by placing the mouse cursor on it now press ctrl c or right click on the mouse and select copy okay so you can use ctrl uh, c which means copy or you can right click on the mouse then you select copy then the folder will copy then you have to go to the location where you want to uh, paste the folder now when you get there you can right click in that folder and you select paste or you can use control v control v also means paste so if you use control v or you right click in the folder and you select paste okay so let's go to copying folder so the folder we Created on desktop. Maybe if I want to copy it and come and paste it in my D drive, so I can go there on the desktop. Now we created this week too. So in this week too, I can copy. So to copy, you select. 
you say select the file by just clicking on it once so once you click on it once if you selected the file you can see that there is a some glue uh, around it means you've selected it now right click last week we talked about right click the right side of the mouse so you right click then the pop-up comes then you choose copy okay we will later talk about cuts so if you want to cut you use this option if you want to copy you, you use this option okay now we will later come to see the difference between cut and copy but right now we are on copy so to copy you just click on copy okay and once you copy it it has been copied to your clipboard or your mouse so wherever you want to paste it to you have to you have to go there so if i want to paste it on my d drive the list of drives and folders are here so i can go to my d drive okay now wherever if i want to save it in any of these folders i can double click on the folder and paste it there but if i want to save it directly in the d drive then in the empty space in the that folder in the empty space in that folder i can right click and I choose paste. Okay, so once you copy a text or a folder or a file, then the paste uh, uh, button will, will, will be active. Now, if you haven't copied anything to your clipboard or your mouse, then this will not be active. Okay, so since you've copied the folder, it's active. So when we click on paste, now we see that the folder has been copied and paste over here so we have the same folder on desktop now we copy these folders we created on desktop we have them now in our d right okay so that's it so to copy you just go to where you want to copy the folder you want to copy you click on the folder it will select it you right click then you copy you select copy or when you select the file by clicking on it you can write you can press ctrl c then you copy the file now you need to go to the place where you want to paste or drop the folder so you browse by going by clicking on any of the uh, files and the folders on your left so when you go to the so when you go to the directory or the folder you want to place your folder, then you just paste by clicking uh, uh, the space in that folder, then you choose, you right click, then you choose paste or control V, control V and also in space, then you can control it. Now copy multiple folders, copy multiple folders. So to copy multiple folders, you need to press the control key. So when you select one of your folder, this also applies to copying multiple files. So anything which you want to do them uh, multiple multiple times, you need to press the control key after choosing the first one. So for this one, if I want to copy all these, uh, or maybe two of these uh, folders, I first of all I have to click on one of them. Then I press my control key. So when I press my control key, I can select the other one. Okay. So if later I change my mind, if I click on that place again, it will be deselected. Okay. So if if you if you select and you select and you click again, it will be deselected. Okay. But the key thing is that if you have choosing multiple folders after selecting the first one you need to press after selecting the first one you said to select you just click on it once then you can see that there will be a blue uh, background around it which means it has been selected so to select more you press on your control key last week we talked about the keys c t r l it's your control key so you press on it then you will use the mouse to select the other ones. So once you are done, you just you can lift your your hand from your uh, control key. So any part in your blue background, you just right click, 
on it and you choose copy or control C so any one you want so once you've selected when you press control C it will be copy or you click right click on the the blue background then you choose copy so any one of them either control C or right click then you choose copy so once you've copied then you can go to wherever you want to paste it just like we did for the other ones then you go and paste them so for example if i want to paste paste in maybe uh, the folder maybe in any of these folders uh, let's say So let's say I, I want to put it over here. So if I paste so that all of them has been dropped in this folder. Okay, so to copy multiple folders, first you select one. We I have explained that select is you click on it once, then the blue background around it will show that it has been selected. Then you press the control key so that once you press the control key you can use the mouse to select the other ones by clicking on them so that once you click it will be added to the list of selected folders now if you change your mind want to be selected you click it again and it will be selected it will no longer be selected okay so we've done copying multiple folders then to copy all folders copy all folders then you can as well do them one by one just like the multiples or you use control then a which means all so that will also select everything so instead of selecting them one by one so like in this case instead of you can either do this one then you select all one by one okay one by one one by one okay then you select everything but you can also as well in the in the folder and you press anywhere in the folder then control then plus all so control a control a you select everything as you can see so if you press control a in the folder everything will be selected at once okay so control a everything will be selected so control a a means all so control a so anything when you press Control A, whatever you are doing, it means for everything. So Control A means we are selecting all our folders. So once you select, you can copy or cut whatever you want to do with it. Then you can go to where you want to paste it. Then you can paste just like we did it in the previous uh, example. Now we have differences between copying and cutting. Now to copy, when you copy a file or a folder to another direct uh, another uh, uh, place or location the the ones the original ones remain there so when you go back there you still see the original ones there but for cut for cut it's like you are moving it from its original place to a new place so once you paste a cut uh, folder or file if you go back to where you pick it you will not see it there so cut is like moving it permanently to a new location but copying is making copy of that uh, file or folder so the original one remains there then you have a copy of wherever you want to put it it will be there so that's the difference between copying and cutting cutting it, it completely moved the uh, uh, folder or file to the new location that you, uh, you want to drop or paste but it so if you go to the whole location then move or the cut uh, files or folders will no longer be there because you move them to your new location so that's the difference so copying and cutting are similar except you instead of uh, copying you choose cut then in the short uh, cut for shortcut for copying is ctrl c the uh, shortcut for cutting is ctrl x so any of them you choose so if you want to cut 
for example this one so you just press control x okay now when you are cutting you can see that after pressing the control it, the, the color become become uh, became faint okay which means we are moving it from here so once you go and paste it will no longer be there okay, so let's take for example on our desktop where we have uh, with two so let me cut this with two and go and paste it let's say in uh, any of this folder so let's say any of this folder okay where we have software so if i paste it here okay now it is over here now if i go to desktop because i cut i will no longer see it on desktop okay so you can see that it is no longer here because i cut it now you saw that in the previous copying that we were doing it was always here anytime i, I come i see it here but with the cutting it could automatically move from this location into this uh, folder okay so if i want to take it back I can also cut it from here, so it will move it from here again back to where it was. Okay, so for cutting, it moves whatever you, whether you are cutting the file or a folder, it moves it moves it from its location to the new location you want to drop it or paste it. Okay, so that is it for cutting example for the cutting. Okay, now. If you move to a folder, let's say I open this folder. Now, if I want to go back to my previous uh, folder, I can use the back key. So if you click on the back, it will go back to the previous uh, location where you were before you move to this uh, location. So you just have to click on the, uh, the back uh, key, then it will go to the previous uh, location. Okay, so that is it. So if I click back, it takes me back to the, my previous folder. I was here before I click here. Okay, so that so you can use the back and forward to also be moving to your previous, uh, the backward is your previous location. Forward is uh, the previous location before you came back. Okay, so that is it. So that is the difference between cutting and copying. Now to copy a file to a folder, so copying you need to go to where you want to copy if you are copying a folder you need to go to where that file is there. the folder is located if you are copying a file you need to go to where that file is okay so any of them if you are copying you need to go to where that file is then you copy so that's the concept so whether you are copying a folder or you are cutting a folder whether you are copying cutting a file or you are copying a file you have to know where that file or folder is so you go there by navigating through the direct the drives and the folders then you go to that location then you can copy once you copy you go to where you want to drop it then you can just control the or right click and you paste it over there okay so so assuming i would like to copy a movie from my b drive then i have to go to my b drive then i go to where my movie is so let's say for example i have movie in my movies folder then i have to go there then i have to go and copy the movie file then i go to the location where i want to paste it then i can either right click and select paste or i, I use control v for paste so let's follow the steps so i have to first of all go to where my movie might be so if my movie is my d drive so like i told you these are where we have our folders in our drives so if it's on my d drive i need to click on it then move it so it may be in my movies folder so i click on it Okay, so I have this movie there. So if I want to, this is a folder. So if I want to copy the movie file, so 
So this is a movie file. So the same way we did copy a folder, it's the same thing. You have to first of all select the file by clicking it once. Then you can see that the blue uh, background is on. Remember, when you double click it to open the file, you are not opening it, you are copying it. So you just click on it once. So when you click on it once, the blue background even shows that it has been selected. So you right click on it. So when you right click, you choose copy. Okay. Or oh, you can also press Ctrl C. So Ctrl C, or you right click and copy. Any of them works. Now you've copied. So you need to go to your location where you want to uh, uh, paste or drop it. So in the case where I want to put it in my on desktop. So if I want to put it on desktop, I can click on desktop. Then if I want to put it on the folder we created for today. Two. Now, if, since it's a movie folder, since it's a movie file, I can decide to put it in my movies. So I click on my movies folder. Now, to paste, like I've I, I told you, you have to either right click, then you choose paste, or you double, uh, or you use Control V. So either Control V, when you are in that folder, and you click on any part of the folder. And you press Control V, then Control V to also paste, or you right click and paste. And that will also do the job. So in a way, you want to see that Control V, or right click and choose paste. And you all drop the file or folder into the folder. So first of all, you copy, then you go to the folder where you want to paste. So once you are in the folder, you either use Control V or you right click and choose paste. Then the copied file or folder will be dropped into that uh, folder. Okay, so that's it. So copy files at the same location to a folder. So browse the folder the files is located. Select one of the files by placing the mouse on it. Press Control. While we process, select the other files. Okay. So copying uh, files at the same location. So this is the same way we did the multiple uh, uh, folder uh, copying. So if you have multiple files, you just click on them at the same uh, like the same way we did for the uh, multiple. Uh, uh, folders. You click one, then press on the control, then use the mouse to select the other ones. So those files should be selected. Now, if you are copying all of them, then you can also use the control A, then all those files will also be copied. So once you've copied, then you can go to the directory where you want to paste over there. So cutting files to a folder in the same way as copying. Yes, the answer will use Ctrl C, you can use Ctrl X to cut, or you right click and you choose cut instead of copy. Okay, so like I've explained the difference between copy and cutting. If you cut a file or a folder, it moves from its current location to a new place that you drop. But if you copy, the original one remains there, then the copy will be placed at the location where you want it to be. Okay, so that's the difference for cutting. The, the file or folder will completely be removed from its previous location to the new location that you want to drop. So even later on, if you go to the previous location, you will not find the file or the folder over there because you cut it from there. Okay. To open the file, to open the file. So to open the file, if the file as the default uh, sub aware application already been selected, then you just double click on the file. But if you want to open the file with a different software or application, you need to right click on the file. Then you choose open with. Then you choose the appropriate uh, software you want to open uh, the, uh, the file. 
So in this example where we have a movie over here, okay, this folder. <coughs> Okay, so in this folder we have a movie All right, so to uh, okay now to play a, a movie or watch a movie now with Microsoft with Microsoft there is already a media player installed whenever you have your Windows operating system so by default, it's going to choose the media player as your default uh, software you use to open movies and videos and audio. Now to choose a different uh, media player, you need to select the file. Then you right click on the file. Now to then when you right click, you go to open with. So the open with will give you possible software you can open with. So these are a list of media players. So this is the default one. If I want to use VLC media player, then I can click on this. If I want to use this video application, I can. if I want to use Power DVD, then I can click on this. Okay. So most popular uh, media player is the VLC media player. You will learn how to install it in week three. Okay. So if you have, if you want to choose any other media players to uh, play your videos, then you would have to, by default, to choose the media player, this one, okay, this media player application. So if you want to choose a different one, you have to right click on the uh, movie, then you go to open with, then you choose the appropriate media player you want to open with, okay. So it's the same thing with any other files. If the application that the computer has suggested that you can open with is not the one you desire, you have to right click on the file and you go to open with and you choose the appropriate uh, application that you want to open that file with. Okay, so that is it. Now you go to renaming the file. So renaming a file or a folder, when you right click on the folder or a file, there is an option, the, the drop down, there is rename. So there is rename, so when you choose rename, then the name of the file will be highlighted, then you can change it. So renaming a file the same as, similar to renaming a folder as well. So for example, this week, uh, two folder, if we want to rename it, we can just, we can also add, when you put the mouse over here two, two times or on it, on the name, it will highlight the name. So if you want to change, you can also change it over there. So you can use any of those methods. So it's either you click on the name, then it will be highlighted, then you can change it. So let's say I want to add intro to computer. Computer. Okay. And then we two. Okay, so I've changed it. Okay. So you can as well you can as well right click on it. Then you choose rename. So any of the method you choose. So if you use this method, right click, then you choose rename. And I want to it to highlight the name for you so you can do the modification you want. So if I say for example, if I want to name it intro to pump. Okay, so uh, then you just rename the first value. So renaming a folder is similar to renaming a file. So we just let's say for example the movies uh, file that we have. Okay. So let's say you want to rename it. So when you click on the name, it will highlight. Okay, so you click on it, it will highlight the name. So if you want to delete something or change something, 
If I want to just keep it this way, then that's it. Okay. So that's it. So either you click on the name for a file, you have to click on it two times back up. And listen. So you click on the name. But remember if you click on the file itself um, more more times, it will open the file. Okay, so you gently click on the name. Okay. So once you click, if you double click on the file to open the file. Okay, so you gently so you gently click on the the name of the file itself. Okay, then you can change the name as you desire. Okay, so that's for renaming a file and a folder. Then deleting the file. So we've talked about deleting a folder the same way we delete a file. So you just select the file. So it's either you use you right click, then you choose delete, or after selecting you press the delete key. So any of them work. So if you press the delete key, then it automatically deletes your file. But remember, if you've opened the, the file, if you open the file, it will tell you that the file has been opened in an application. You need to close the application before you can delete. Okay. So that so once you delete it disappear from wherever it is into the recycle bin. So if you want, you can go back to the recycle bin and restore it. So we are restoring a deleted file or folder. So to restore it, you just have to go to your recycle bin on your desktop. On your desktop, there is recycle bin. Then the recycle bin, you will double click on that uh, application of uh, Explorer of for folder. Then to open this content, so you just right click and you choose restore. And if you want to permanently delete it, which means you are certain that you no longer want it, then when you right click, you just choose delete. But if you want to restore it back to where it used to be, then you click on restore, then it just goes back to wherever it is. Okay, now if you want to. Uh, empty your recycle bin maybe there are things inside which you are hundred percent sure that you no longer need so you are moving everything inside it then you right click on the recycle bin icon then when you right click this option comes then you choose empty recycle bin so once you choose the empty recycle bin then all its contents will be empty or you can as well open the recycle bin, then you can select all by controlling. We, we, we talk about how to select everything. So you just use control A, and you can select everything in the recycle bin, then you press delete, and everything will also be deleted. Okay, so now let's take a practical example. So we go to our recycle bin, we want to check if we see some things inside. So when you go to your desktop, you just double -click, click on the recycle bin. So the files which you deleted will be over here. So the ones that you want to restore, you just click on it. Then you know, if I want to restore the movie I deleted, so I just click here and I right click and I choose restore. So when I restore, it will go back to its previous uh, location. So I think if I'm right, I uh, and the, it was in this a folder somewhere. Okay. I think it was here that I deleted. Okay, so it was here I deleted, so it has been restored. So if you delete, if you delete, 
you go to the recycle bin, you will see it there. As you can see, and if you right click and click on restore, it will go back to where it was. So if you check that folder where it is, and you can see that it's back there. Okay, so that's how the restore goes. So if you go to the recycle bin and click on you right click on the file, then you click restore, it will go back to your previous folder where it was. Okay. Now to Empty a recycled bin. Empty means you are removing everything inside. So you can right click it. Then you choose empty recycled bin. Everything inside will be deleted. Or you can open it. Then you press Control A. Then everything inside will also be selected. Then you can delete. So you just press yes. And everything inside will also be deleted. So it's either you delete everything inside or you go you right click on the recycle bin and choose empty. Now if there's nothing inside, this will not be active. But if there is something inside, it will be active. So you can just click on it to empty the recycle bin. Okay, so we continue. And transferring file or folder to to or from a storage device. Now most case most uh, cases we need to transfer a file to our external drive. Maybe we want to do some prints print out but we don't have a printer so we have to put it on our external drive then we can go to a cafe or wherever we can print and we can print over there. So to transfer the file or a folder to your external storage is just the same as transferring from one folder to the other. Now remember, once you connect your external storage, that uh, that uh, drive will be shown on your explorer, file explorer. So once once it is on the file explorer, it will be shown somewhere over here. Or if you click on this uh, PC. It will be shown over here if you connect a new uh, external drive. So before you connect, if you don't know the name of the external drive, take notice of the drives you have over here. So take notice of them. So if the new one comes in this comes there, then you know that that's the external drive you have connected. So if you connect an external drive, especially especially a, a flash a drive or a pen drive then you, you normally see the pen drive icon being inserted in the system tray then you will see that it's a sign that you've inserted the addition then most of it you could hear a sound that a new external uh, drive has been connected okay so i will connect an external drive then you can see that it will show in any of these drives. So take note of my folder now. So in my drives, I have four drives now. I have the C drive, I have my D drive, I have my E drive, I have my F drive. So any other external device that I connect to, when it's shown over here, then you should know that that's the external drive I've connected to. Then you can open the content if you want to copy something from it. But if you want to copy something to read to, then you can go to the where you want to copy the thing, copy it, then you go, you come to your external drive, then you go to the appropriate place you want to paste it, then you paste it over there. So I'll, I'm connecting my device now. Okay, so I'm connecting my external drive. Okay, so. Now you can see that this is my standard drive. So it previously it used to be four. I only have to F. Now when I connected this, I've got my G with my standard drive in removable disk. Now if you've named your standard drive, if you've named your standard drive, then here will be the name of your standard drive. 
to name an external drive, you can just right click it. Just like the way we rename a folder. So when you click on this, it will rename your external drive for you. Okay, so however you want to do, if you want to give a special name to your external drive, you can do that. Okay. So that's my external drive. So if I want to copy a file into it, let's say for instance, if I want to copy this movie into my external drive, I have to go to the folder where I have the movie. Okay, so this folder, I right click it, then I choose copy, then I can go to my external drive, and I can copy it inside. So in my external drive, I can just look for in the empty space, I just click new, then I paste or control V, then I paste. Now if there is not enough space on the memory for the file you are uh, copying, it will also let you know. And tell you the space you need to free. Now, once you've done that, then you can try again. But if you have enough space when you, you, you paste it, then it will be stored on the external drive. Okay, so that's how we uh, copy a file to our external drive. So, first, you have to connect your external drive. Now, when you connect, you hear the a connection sign, uh, sound that you've connected the device to it. Now, before you do the connection, you can click on this PC. Then you will see you will see the list of the drives you have. So once you connect any new the uh, drive that you see, then you know that that's my connected device. So I removed the previous one, so just to show you. So now if I, you could hear the sound. Okay. Now in some external drive, any time you connect, it will do the installation of the drives for the, the drivers for the external drive. Once it's done, then the external drive will show. So now you can see that the external drive has now shown. So if I want to copy a file from it, I'll just double click. I'll go to that uh, folder or file, then I can copy the file I want. So let's say, for example, I want to copy this. I can just copy it. So I click on it, just like the way we did copying files and the rest. So this, your external drive is just like a folder. So once you connected it, you can see the folder which is the drive you double click on it then you navigate to wherever you want to go to based on the file and where it is located once you've seen it you just right click it if you want to cut or if you want to copy you do whatever you want then you can do that so if you want to copy copy if cut cut like we've explained that cut automatically completely move the file so if you cut this one it will no longer be on the pen drive when you paste it, then wherever you paste, you move it to that, to that location. Okay. Now, so that's it. So if you are copying from the computer, you go to where the file is located on the computer, you copy it, then you, you go to my, this PC or, or any part over here. This is your external drive. So any new one that should be added, you know that's your external drive. So you can click on it, then you can navigate to the folders anywhere you want to save your file. Once you, you are there, then you can just right click, then select paste or control V to paste whatever you copied into it. Okay, so that's it. So now I will also be connecting my phone so you know how uh, the additional storage device will also look. So now I'm connecting my phone to the computer. Okay, so that one too, you heard that I've connected my phone. So in your phone, you need your USB for the phone. 
So the USB you should the slot, the port where you put in to your phone, and the port, the USB port where you put in the computer. Okay, so okay, now for the phone, this you can see that is a new added uh, drive in this piece. So that's the name of the phone. So if you are using not, I'm using Huawei. So this is the name of my phone. If you are using not, yeah. Then they will not care something, something. So based on the type of phone, then the name it will be given over here. So when you click on it, you see that it says this is this folder is empty because I haven't given the right on my phone for the computer to access my files or my photos. So if you are you connect your phone to the computer, you need to give rights to the computer. Now to do that, you go to your notification, your notification uh, at the top, you scroll it down. When you scroll it down, you will see USB connected. So by default, it will be charging. So by default, it will be charging only, it will charge only. So you have to make it that it's not charged, it is for maybe photos or files. So mine, the options are photos or files. So if I want to see only photos on this, on the phone, I'll click on photos. So other files will not be shown on the, on, on the computer when I open the content of my phone. But if I choose files, so both photos and files, anything I have on the phone will, will be shown. Okay, so based on what you want to do, if you only want to transfer photos to your computer, then you can use, uh, Select uh, photos on the USB connected this. By default, it will be charging. So, if you haven't selected photos or files, if you click on it, it will tell that this folder is empty. Okay, so you have to click on either photos. Okay, so now when you click on photos, it will. Then you click on photos, then it will load your, your application for you then. Okay. The name of your phone will come. So when you click on it, you can get access to your photos. Okay. And my software for the phone for the computer is the one that is what I show you. So based on the option you choose. So, but the key thing is that you should remember, you should remember that first of all, at, uh, uh, allow uh, your, you have to use, so you scroll down the notification, then you indicate whether you want to, by default, it to be on charge only. So, you have to choose if you want to have a file transfer or photos. Or photos so whatever you choose so once you choose then you see that it will no longer be uh, empty if you click on your lesson if you click on now you can see that it is no longer empty so if I click on it it will give me the content of my phone so what I want to do if I want to copy something over here so now this is just like it is on the computer so the folders you are saying you can go there, then you can copy the file, then you can copy the files. So if you want to copy a file over here, you that not do the folder where you want to copy the file. So once you copy, then you can also go where you want to put it on the computer. You go and paste it over there. Just like the way, the same way in the previous one. There is nothing different. Once you've connected. It's just like a folder on the computer. So to copy the computer, you go to where the file is on the computer or where the folder is on the computer. You select it, you either right click, then you choose copy or cut, then you 
or you use Ctrl C or Ctrl S for cut. Then you have to go to the location where you want to paste. So if you want to paste on the pen drive, you have to click on the name of your pen over here. The name of your external drive. You click on it folder. If it's the external drive, you click on it folder. Then you must go to where you want to paste. So once you are location where you want to paste, then you control pane or you right click then you choose paste. Then your file folder will be pasted to your external storage device. Okay. So the concept is not that much. So once you've connected your device, you will be seeing the same folders you see on the computer. So it's just like your folder, uh, your external device is not part of your computer as a different drive. So you can navigate inside that drive, then you can copy from either the external drive to your computer or from your computer to your external drive. You just have to where the file you want to copy is located. So once you know, you just go straight to that file and you can just pick the file. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to pay maybe a file over here. Okay. So let's say I want to copy website again. So I just click on it. I choose copy. If I want to cut, I'll just choose cut. If I want to copy, I'll just choose copy. Okay, so now this is in the, uh, the full. I can go to any part on my computer. If I want to paste it on desktop, I just click on desktop. Then I can just right click in that folder and then I choose paste. Okay, so once you click on paste, so that it is copied over there. Okay, so that's that's copied to my desktop. Okay, so that is it. So once you've con con connected the external drive, it's just like now part of the computer. So you just navigate your way around it. If you want to copy from the external drive to the computer, first you have to do a copy. So you go to the external drive where the file is located. You just clicking on the, uh, the folders. So you click on the folders and you get to the file. And just copy the file. You say copy is select the file. Control C or you right click after selecting the file, you right click and then you choose copy. And now, once you've copied, you have to go to where you want to drop it. So, you go to the, the, the folder where you want to paste it on the computer or on the external drive. So, all the folders are over here. So, wherever you want to paste, you can find your way here. If it's on desktop, you click here. Then, the list of folders on desktop are here. If you want to put it on document, you click here. If, you, if it's in downloads, you click here. If, so any of the folders, or if, if it's on any of these drives, you just click. If you connect external drive, it will all be shown over here. So you can just click on them. Now, if you don't know the name of your external drive, take note of the ones you already have, so that when you connect, then you can know which one has joined. So you know that that will be the new one that was connected to. Then you can just click on it and navigate your way through the folder. Then you get the file, you copy it, and you paste it. Okay, so remember, cutting is moving the thing permanently from its place to the new location. So if you cut a file from your pen drive or your external drive and you paste it on the computer, that file will no longer be on the external drive because you've cut it from there. So if you want to keep original copy, Copy the file, don't cut. So that's the difference. If you don't want to have duplicates in the same computer, maybe a particular file is here at the same time over there, then you can cut the file to the new location so that it will only be a one copy. But if you copy and you move to a different location, the original one will be there, and the new one will also be at where it is. So you get two copies of the file on the same computer, and it will be taking uh, space on your computer. Okay, so now you transfer it from the offer to or from a storage device. So we've done that one as well. And that one too. Let's see what album is I'm doing this. Okay, we've done this one. We've done this one. I'll talk about this. 
So that was what I was talking about on the phone. So about the phone. So if you connect the phone device to your computer, by default it will be charging only. So you need to click uh, click either photos or files in order for it to know that to allow uh, the contents of the photos or files to be accessed on the computer. Okay, so that is it. So we will go back briefly what we've done for today. Easy concepts, then that will be for the weak content. So we said folders is just a location where you put uh, application software files and other folders inside, so that whenever you are looking for them, you know where you can locate them. Now, for your personal files, you try to put them in. Different uh, drive instead of the desktop. The desktop is on the C drive. When formatting is being done, the C drives are being wiped. So, whatever you put on desktop will also be on your C drive. So, it is appropriate to put your personal uh, files on a different drive. So, in the operating, if, if whoever uh, did the installation for you or when the computer was bought, the drives have already been done. The C is for software applications installations and operating system. So once you have been formatting, those ones will be gone. So you have to uh, save your other files on the other and drives. So most often the, we call it D drive for the data uh, for other personal data that you have there. So normally we store them on the D drive. But you can have more than uh, two drives. So based on how your IT uh, or the computer is came with, well, how many drives you may have. So based on their size and the type of uh, files you would like to save them. For example, if you, you like watching movies and movies take much of your space, then you can give uh, the movies the the drive which is. Um, Give the volume more volume to the drive where you'll be putting the movies inside, and the C drive will be reserved for softwares and applications that you'll be installing. And remember, your C drive, there are less service on your C drive. So, if you've been saving things on your best drive, remember when there is formatting, you may lose your files because the folders and files you have on the desktop will not be gone. And we said. We keep things in the folders. Now, to create a folder, you need to go to a location where you want to create a folder. If you want to create it on desktop, you go to the desktop and you create it. Then, how do we create folder? You right click on the space of where the location is and choose new, then you choose a uh, folder. Then, by default, the uh, new folder is the name for the default. So you just have to delete that one and choose your desired name. And to copy a folder, you just click on that folder once to highlight it. You will see a blue background around it. Now you can either press Ctrl C or you right click on the folder and then you choose copy. The same with cuts. You can right click on the folder then you choose cuts. Or control X is for cutting. Now, the difference between cutting and copy, we said cutting move the file from its original place to the new location. So when you go to the original place, you don't see the file there anymore because it has been moved to the new location. But for copy, the original one will be at where it was copied and to you have another copy in the new location. So we have two copies on the computer. Okay, so that's the difference between copy and cutting. Cutting or move it completely from where it is to the new location. By copying, you just make copy of it so the original one is still there. Then to copy multiple files, once you select one of them, then you press on the control key, then you can select the other ones that you want to 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 copy them. Now, if you want to select all the folders. All the files or folders in that folder, 
then control A will select everything. So control A will select everything. A for all. So control A will select everything. Then you can copy all of them or cut all of them however you want. Now to delete a file, you select the file, then you either press the delete key or you right click and you choose delete. Now once all deleted files are stored on your recycle bin. So if you don't want the it to be in the recycle bin because it also takes space on the memory, you can permanently permanently delete it by double clicking on the recycle bin. Then control or select everything in the recycle bin. Then you press delete. Or you right click on the recycle bin uh, icon. Then you, you when you right click, you choose empty uh, recycle bin. Then everything will be deleted from the recycle bin. Now we also saw how you can open the file with its appropriate software. We said to open the file. You select the file, you right click the file, then you choose open with. Then with the open with, you choose the appropriate file you want the, or software you want to open the file with. Then to rename the file, you click on, gently click on the name of the file or folder. Then the name will be selected. Then you can delete it. Then you can type in the appropriate name you want, the new name you want to enter. Or you can select the file. Then you right click and you choose rename. Then the name will be highlighted. So you can delete the old name and put in the new name that you want. Then to transfer from a recycle bin, then you can also store uh, files or deleted files or folders to their previous location from the recycle bin. So you just set the file, then you right click, then you choose restore, then it goes back to the place where it is. So to restore multiple files, you just select them, then you right click, then you click on restore, and they all go to wherever you want them to go. Now if you selected more than more than two or uh, two or more files, then or any file you select, if you want to be selected, when you click on it again selected and transferring from file or to from a folder uh, transferring folder or file to a standard drive or from the standard drive to the computer you just have to connect your standard drive to the computer but before you are connecting try to check the previous drives and folders you have in your computer so you check the ones you have here and the one you have there so when you do the connection, the new one that will join, you know that that is the connected uh, story. So you can, if you want to copy something from it, you just double click on the new one and to open it folders. So once it has opened it folders, you can navigate to wherever you want to copy the files from. And you copy, and if you want to paste it onto your uh, computer, somewhere on your computer, then all the folder names are here in the drive so you have to click on them and, uh, and you go to the way you want to paste your copied file you can paste it over there okay so for a phone once you connect by default it will be charging so you need to choose either you want to transfer photos or files before it will be uh, the, the content will show on your computer otherwise when you click on the name of the phone, phone or the hard device the uh, drive drive for the phone it will tell you that it is empty so you need to do that in order for it for it to show but thank you very much and like i said if you want to contact me create an account on cool chat or log in if you already have an account go to the home page of the introduction to the computer uh, course and click on chat with instructor. So if you are doing something that you don't uh, understand or you want further explanation, just send me a message. Then you will be able to communicate. Even if there is a need for you to call me, then we can arrange as well so that you really uh, 
use your computer to the fullest. I thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye.